My name is Justin Ferrate, and on behalf of the Llewellyn Galleries in Santa Fe, New Mexico, we have a very special exhibition currently on display, Jean Kloss, New Mexico Etched in Time. Jean Kloss is recognized as one of the major 20th century printmakers, noted both for her Western landscapes and for her images of the Pueblo peoples and the Spanish penitentes. With a deep and long-standing reverence for the people and places she chose as her subjects, Kloss produced singular images that read more like shared, intimate experience than mere documentation. With extraordinary technical skill, Kloss had a remarkable ability to convey in her art the extraordinary both in nature and in the rituals and ceremonies of the indigenous people of New Mexico. Jean Kloss is considered to be one of the finest printmakers of the 20th century and in viewing these works you'll immediately understand why. In 1925, with a 60-pound Sturgis etching press anchored to a rock at her Taos campsite, Jean Kloss began a career in New Mexico that established her as one of the most important printmakers of the 20th century. Because of Jean Kloss's personal intimacy with people and place, her works retain a sense of vitality and timelessness. Kloss created dramatic images of places and scenes not generally experienced by others and of a time now long past. In her prints, Kloss conveyed a deep meditative sense of soulfulness in the people and the land of New Mexico. This prompted Art News to write, Jean Kloss is one of our most sensitive interpreters of the Southwest. It's perhaps important to point out that Jean Kloss created her images of Native American dances, Native American festivals with full cooperation from the community. We see two figures dressed as buffaloes here surrounding the woman, the centerpiece of the dance. She made it a point to get to know her neighbors well and reached out to the indigenous community to become part of their life and to have them to become part of hers. That shows in the very personal aspects of the Song of the Buffalo Hunt. Universality indeed is the perspective of Jean Claus as she observes these very ancient religious services that are recreated annually by the congregation, you get the sense of the power and the intensity of the people participating in the ceremony as they are returning from this lengthy processional that goes throughout the entire Pueblo, ending back at the church, the Church of San Geronimo, or St. Jerome. This is one of the oldest Pueblo churches in America, and it's still extant on the Pueblo in Taos. If you look at the work, you can see the influence of Rembrandt, the use of the diagonal shapes, and especially the use of the black and the white. The blacks here are very close and intense, and in fact, they get richer the closer one gets to the work. And indeed, that is contrasted by these remarkable panels of white, like a dramatic spotlight brought onto the sacredness of the event. The Penitente Fires refers to that tradition of burning blazes throughout the community, that sense of darkness and light. 
what is taking place in the foreground is the mysterious secretive ceremony of the 15th century penitentes, a medieval Spanish religious group who were very important when there were no priests in New Mexico. And this group of Roman Catholic followers kept Catholicism alive. What makes this work such a virtuoso piece is Jean Kloss's incredible ability to use the technique of aquatint, which is a very complex technique, and she creates these powdery grays, the subtleties in the sky, which can only be appreciated up close because there's a sensuousness to them. This is a remarkable, remarkable piece that's evocative in so many ways of so many emotions. It's of significant importance in American printmaking. Indeed, this print was selected to be placed in the Oval Office of the President of the United States in Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us today to see just a few of the images of the works in this show. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Llewellyn Galleries and any of the staff members would be more than willing to help you in any way they can. Again, thank you very much and we'll see you again in the near future.